Hey guys, I thought I'd do a quick little video. Uh, last weekend I had to hotwire my Coupe de Ville and, uh, to get it out to the car show and uh, it's pretty straightforward. Anyway, I bought an aftermarket switch for $10 which uh, might can help some of you out if you ever get in a pinch, if your ignition switch goes bad or uh, you lose your key or something like that. Uh, anyway, I'll show you what I did. I thought I could flip the uh, camera around. This is an iPod my wife gave me. I think I might have to stop it and start again. Hey guys, I thought I'd do a quick little video before I put my switch back in the Coupe de Ville. Uh, last week I had to hotwire it, and, um, which is pretty straightforward, but also picked up an aftermarket switch for 10 bucks, which is pretty uh, good to have if you lose your key or the switch goes bad or anything. And uh, Anyway, I'll show you real quick what I did and all it takes to hotwire these bad boys. You got a red wire for the battery, uh, pink wire that goes to the ignition and you've got a purple wire that starts the car and anyway it's pretty straightforward I just made this little three-way up and to crank the car just that's it the flow master sound good don't they anyway I've got a switch to go back in here but again, just three wires, red wire, pink wire, and then touch the purple wire. Um, and it should crank right up. And uh, anyway, I'm going to <laughs> turn it off, just pull the wires. And anyway, I just brought in two more parts cars. And so I thought I would show you what I made up for the parts car, because I'm going to use the switch out of this car. And by the way, I do have a nice set of seat belts. I think they're sold. And uh, I'm sending out uh, I'm sending out an email to the guy that wants them. Anyway, this one uh, this one actually runs pretty decent. And I'll show you what I did on this car. I bought the switch. Hopefully, you can see it at the car show for ten bucks. And it's got uh, it's a switch. And it's got two keys. Anyway, I just made up some short uh, wires to uh, tap into the um, stock wiring um, into this uh, into the switch harness. So I got a red wire for battery, uh, pink wire for the ignition. I got the uh, this wire here that goes to the starter and the uh, accessory wire. Uh, and so anyway, these are just male spades. And so this way I can just plug it in. I can just take a switch out and plug it into the back of the switch. And then if I want to crank it, do both of these at the same time. Well. And voila. I cranked up. Not easy to video with the iPod. So. Anyway, it's a real quick way for 10 bucks. Then I just cut the wires and uh, made the little, um, and just made the little jumper harness. That was it. And this car runs pretty good. Uh, <coughs> pretty smooth. Anyway, I'm going to play around with this car some before I start to take it down or whatever I do with it. But it's running pretty good right now. And anyway, I've, took, I've got the switch out of it. And I'll go with my car. I actually put plates on it just so I could drive it around the block. As you can see right there. I took those plates off, the, off my off my Cooper deal. Anyway, it's pretty easy to hot wire these things. And for 10 bucks, you can get a switch that looks like that, that could save you some trouble.